Our number system can be broken into two categories, the rational expressions and the irrational expressions. We're going to look and dive into both of these terms. Rational numbers is the first one I'm going to focus on. It is any set of numbers where you can express that number in a fractional format. The word ratio is in rational and ratio is essentially a comparison of two numbers and more often than not they're written as a fraction in the form of a fraction. So if we have two numbers stacked on top of each other, B cannot be zero. That's the only exception. So if you have any other values here, that'll work. For instance, if you have three over zero, this is not a rational expression. In fact, if you type this into your calculator, your calculator will say error because it's not possible to do. However, if you wrote the zero on top and the three on the bottom, that is a rational expression. You type it in your calculator and the answer is just zero. So any two numbers or any number that can be written in a fractional format is going to be considered to be an, a rational expression. For example, we have five categories of rational numbers. We have fractions. For instance, one-third. That's a rational expression. It's A over B. We can have negative two and a fourth. Since it's a fraction, it is a rational expression. The second category of rational numbers are terminating decimals, which means any decimal number that has an end. For example, 2.6 stops. The six, there's an end to it. So it's a rational expression. If I write 2.614802, that has an end. If I end it right here, that's a rational expression. However, on the other end of terminating decimals, we have repeating decimals, and they are also considered to be rational expressions, even though they have no end. For example, 2.6 with a line over it means this is 2.6666666 for all of eternity. It'll go forever. So even though it repeats, it's a rational expression because this is just two holes and six over nine. Likewise, if I said 0 0.34 with a line over both, that 3, 4 will repeat for all of eternity. Even so, it's a rational expression. That's just 34 over 99. Most repeating decimals are always going to be over a 9 or a 99 and that sort of thing. Moving on, we have integers. They are also rational expressions. All of them are. For instance, negative two, we have positive four. Those are two examples of integers. An integer is essentially any number that does not contain a fraction or a decimal in visible format. Like the negative two has a decimal. It's right here. It's at the end. If you don't see a decimal, it's at the end. But since we don't include it in the value, we don't show it, now it's an integer. And all integers are rational numbers. We also have perfect squares. What are perfect squares? Well, if you take let's say two times two, that makes four. And if I put a funny symbol like this over the four, that means five. That's not division. That's not long division. That's square root. Make it pointy like that. The square root of four is two because two times two is four. And we can do this with three. And we can have the square root of nine is going to be three because Three times three is nine. We can also move on. You can do the same with 16. That makes four. We can have 25. But even though like this here makes five and this here makes four. But what if I included um, square root of 17? There is no one number that you can multiply by itself to make 17. Because all these have the same number being multiplied, right? So 17 doesn't have, doesn't have anything like that. And if you push this in your calculator, you're going to get a decimal that goes on forever and ever and ever. This is not a rational number. This is irrational, which is the next category I'm going to look at. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written in fractional format. Now, how do we know that? Well, here are the categories. Pi, which is the relationship between a circle's circumference and diameter, when you divide the two, it's a constant regardless of how big the circle is. It's a never-ending sequence of digits. It's 3.1415926, and it goes on forever and ever and ever. You cannot write this in a fractional format like this. So it is an irrational expression. Non-terminating decimals, pi is an example of one, but we have other ones too. For instance, non-perfect square numbers, I'm going to get rid of roots, non-perfect squares like root 17, you punch that in your calculator, you're going to get digits that go forever and ever and ever and ever. It'll, it'll keep going for all of eternity. Now, your calculator will end it. 
If you punch this in your calculator, your calculator will end the value. It'll have an end. And that's just because the calculator runs out of space. And so it has to round the last digit and stop it. But that doesn't mean it's a rational expression. The rule is all non-perfect squares are irrational numbers. All of them are. Here's an activity for you to do. Look at all of these expressions and sort them according to rational or irrational. Let's start doing this. 16 out of 24. It's a fraction, so it's a rational expression. We can include it here. What about 2 and 3 fourths? What do you think about that one? Absolutely. It's a fraction, so it goes right here. How about the square root of 2? Punch it into your calculator. What does your calculator say? Yeah, it goes forever, right? Decimals keep going and going and going. So that's irrational. It's a non-perfect square. How about the square root of 9? Put it into your calculator. In fact, you don't need a calculator. You know it's going to be 3. It's a perfect square. So we can put it right here. How about root 5? Square root of 5. Yeah. Forever repeating decimal. 0 out of 24. Absolutely. This is where it goes. It's 0 over 24. But wait a minute, Mr. Malm. You said 0 isn't uh, an option for these sort of things. Your calculator will say error. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's only when the 0 is in the denominator. If it's on the top, that's all right. How about this one? What is that? Well, that's a repeating decimal. It repeats over 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. That is definitely a rational expression. You can write that as a fraction. It'll just be 23 over 99. How about 2.0? It's not an integer. Yeah, I know that. But you could still write this as a fraction. It's just 2 over, it just looks like this, 2 over 1. You can get rid of that decimal. It doesn't matter. Decimal zeros are useless. 2 over 1, that's going to be, a, so we can include this right here. Pi? <laughs> yeah, pi goes right here. How about this? What is that? Well, that's just going to be the square root of 1, which is 1, because 1 times 1 is 1. And then you put a negative sign in front of it. That's just negative 1 in the end. So that is definitely a rational expression. What is that? Rational or irrational? There's a lot of decimal values here. We have a lot of, we have 4. But there's an end. So it goes in the rational category. And last but not least, this thing here, we'll delete that. 6 over 0. Yes.